What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be reviewing the Cheetah from JLB Racing, so check it out. Okay, so starting off, this thing is very big. You might have seen the review for another uh, truck that we did. We'll have links somewhere in the description or something. And this one, it may rival that one in size. It is very, very large. You can see here, size of my arm. Basically, a little bit longer than my arm. So, yeah, it's definitely very long. Let's look at some of the features under the hood of this car. So you can see here on the bottom, it has a metal plate to be the support for the whole truck, and that's gonna definitely give you, um, it's just a extra step of quality to make sure this thing doesn't fall apart on you, which is great, I admire that. Also, you can see these huge shock, absor shock absorbers on all four of the tires. They're gonna really take the load off when you're going up and down curbs and all that sort of stuff. So right here you can see the 2500 kV brushless motor that's going to power all four of your wheels because this thing is four wheel drive to really give you much more power. But with that power there are some drawbacks. A uh, One problem that we were having with the other really high powered uh, cars that we were getting is that when you would just go full power it would just flip over backwards. And that's not a good thing because then you'd have to go walk and get it and well, awful. So this car solves all that with this little thing. Now we're going to see how well this works but it's supposed to stop you from hitting the gas and then it flipping over. This will just hit the ground and it'll roll and then go back down. So hopefully that works well. Now let's take a look at the battery. This is 11.1 volt 4000 milliamp hour 3S battery and that's going to really give you the extra power that you need to um, go fast in this car since it is so big. So let's strap this in and then <clears throat> get the car going. So you can see here the straps that hold in the car, or in the battery, sorry. They're right here. Oh, I popped that one out on accident. So you're just gonna feed the battery down there. You can loosen the straps if you need to. Then strap it, then strap it, and then plug this connector in right there. It's called the Dean's connector. This Dean's connector in right there. Thank you, Dad. Um, so, one of my gripes that I have with this car, but a lot of cars do this, is that the on-off switch is under the hood. So you put on the hood, but so you would have to turn it on and then put on the hood, which just wastes a lot of battery that could be an easy fix, just put it on the side or something like that, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So, let's turn on the car. It's on now, and now let's put on the hood. So you're just gonna put it right, oh, you're gonna put it right through there. The car's all fired up. I think we are ready to drive. This is the remote that it comes with. As you can see here, you have the standard steering and the standard throttle trigger. But also, um, right here, you have your power switch, your right and left trim, your power trim, and then your uh, reverse steering and your throttle rev and all that good throttle reverse, yeah. throttle reverse that everybody loves. All right, here we go. We're going to try driving the cheetah real quick. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that definitely has some power. Whoa. Hiya! Okay, so that was full throttle. And it does flip over if you try to take a really hard turn at full speed, but it does a good job of getting back up. I haven't yet had to go out there and go retrieve it. Now we're gonna do some agility. Here we go. There it is. Through the turn. This is the sketchy part. Here we go. Ah, no! All right, let's back it up. Oh, it's 
hung up a little bit. And there's it there. Yes. It's going. It's going. It's going now. Cross the finish line. One thing I do like about this truck is that okay. that when it comes out of the box, its wheels are already pretty straight, so you probably won't have to do any trimming on it. All right, here we go. Whoa! It nailed that. Oops. All right, we're gonna throw it over the brakes now. That was so cool! Whoa! It flipped! It did a whole like 360. You can see that little back bar doing its job pretty well. Just tearing up our dirt. So you can see on the front, it does have headlights, which I'm not sure what that's for, but it is quite cool. Makes it seem a lot more realistic when it's driving around. <laughs> Okay, so the cheetah. I think this thing is very interesting. First of all, it does a good job of going very fast over pretty much any surface. Now, I think it's very sturdily built. I flipped it many times. I really abused this thing, but it held up well. Um, I really like the big wheels, the shock absorbers, and this little thing on the back. And I think with any high-powered uh, truck, if you take it too hard, too many turns, too fast, it will eventually flip. But this thing, honestly, it didn't flip as much as some of the other ones that we've tested, and I really like it. So if you want to check it out, there will be a link in the description so you can go buy this on GearBest and check out more of our videos for more trucks and more drones, so stay tuned.